right. Start with Mason. Trey, I wanted to ask kind of about the three guard lineup and you guys kind of closing the game down down a stretch. What kind of go into what kind of goes into the cohesiveness of that unit and how you guys have grown so far? Um, yeah, I think it's a good job down the stretch of finding ways to get stops, but it's got to be the whole game. Um, no matter what lineup it is, we got to do a better job on the defensive end and know our coverages and know what we need to do um, on the backside. And, um, so I think just whatever lineup it is, finding ways to be better and get better. Come on, obviously they made a lot of threes and we got to be able to win that more. So, Mike then Todd. Yeah, Trey, would you see a freshman like Gabe kind of in those crunch time of getting those minutes, uh, season opener, a true freshman, what kind of goes to your head? What, what impresses you the most since you've obviously been here a long time? Yeah, I thought he did a great job coming in, stepping up um, big time moment. Um, I think he was really good um, at talking and kind of just staying poised. And so it was good to have, good to see that and know that we can rely on him and trust him um, in crunch time. So I think just him staying ready and being ready off the bench was, was good. Todd and Zach. Well, you know, you came out, uh, had a couple block shots early, got into the flow. Um, what did it mean to you in your first Indiana game to you know, demonstrate what you what you can do at your best? Um, every night is just going to be a night that, you know, not even just me, but the whole team just come out and play hard and we just going to have to try our best to win the game. So, and just to show the fans what this team is capable of. Zach, then Jordan. Well, I guess guys talk at different times about their, their offense getting them into a game, their defense getting them into a game. What What is it for you when you, you can score like you can, the rebounds, three blocks in the first half, four assists in the second half, just like a staying involved at whatever it is at both ends? Um, well, it's a 40 minute game, so no matter what it is, if I can just get a block at one point, or if I can, you know, even just get a rebound and run out the end and get a fast break point, then it's just, it's like I said, it's a 40 minute game, so we can just score throughout the whole game. George and Zion. Trey, what, what did a game like this sh show you about yourselves? You guys really never took over this game. You, 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 you almost did, but then they got back into it. What, what, what did it show you about this team? I mean, obviously it's, we wanted to be up more because um, I mean, we're capable of that. But I, I liked our, our fight when we got down six late in the second half because um, you could easily break right there and kind of just fall apart. But I think we made that run and got back in it with our intensity and our defensive energy and our stance. Um, so I think just knowing that we got guys um, willing to fight uh, when things are going well, is, I, I like to see that. But I mean, obviously we got to be better and to not put ourselves in that position. But um, to be able to climb out of that and, and come out with a win was, was huge for us. Zion, then Mike. Khalil, with you being by the rim, I wanted to kind of ask you, you kind of get the best view of it. What are you seeing that is causing you guys to break down a little bit off the ball in your rotations? Um, I, really, it, I feel like it's just miscommunication. And once we get the communication down, I feel like we'd be well even just when you know, off the ball and get back to our games. Mike, then Trevor. Trey, how important is it for you and X and Malik, you guys have been with this program for a while now, to, to step up in moments like you did in the second half? Uh, it's huge. Like you said, we have the we have the, the time and time spent here at the, at the longest, and, and we know what it takes to win at the highest level. So I think just pulling guys along and, and knowing that it's not going to be easy like it was tonight, um, that's the biggest thing for us, just to kind of really just focus on the task at hand, one possession at a time, and, and try to fight for the win. Trevor, then Seth. Uh, Trey, you guys gave up 13 threes tonight, uh, a lot of them were clean looks. What did you see break down to give them you know, to most of those threes? Yeah, I think just miscommunication um, and knowing our spots and um, knowing where we need to be. Um, they, they, they made a lot of shots, but a lot of those we could have affected more. Um, so I think just going back and watching film and knowing what we need to do next time to, to prevent that from happening. So I think just going back and, and watching and really get a look at it. I mean, obviously, I, I, don't, I, can't, I can't really tell right now, but a lot of miscommunication and, and not being in, our, in the right spots at the right time. So we'll, we'll work on it and get better. Last question, Seth. <clears throat> Trey, uh, on the league specifically, uh, obviously last season he kind of would fall into foul trouble issues a little bit. He was headed down that road again tonight and then checked in, you know, 12 minutes or whatever it was and, you know, played without fouling and really made a lot of big plays. Just uh, how much have you seen him grow in that way since last year? Yeah, I mean, our biggest thing is we want him on the floor. So I think just 
in the offseason just telling him that we need you on the floor and you can't foul. Um, cause, I mean, obviously last year he had a lot of times where he got in foul trouble and a lot of dumb fouls. So I think just him being disciplined and not gambling, um, he had that one, he got him a third foul. So I think just knowing that we need him out there and to not gamble will be huge for him to stay on the floor. We need him. All right. Thanks, guys.